analysis were div divided along four event types, namely competition, scrimmages, regular practices, and walkthroughs. Uh, some materials used is football practice and game data that have been recorded over 2004 to 2005 to 2008 to 2009 academic years. Uh, this provides an, an analysis of 60 different programs. And the uh, injury rates per 1,000 athlete exposure, injury rate proportions, 95% CIs and injury extents were accounted for in this research. Um, it's just a table showing some of the, um, uh, when the injuries occurred. Uh, most competition injuries occurred in season, 97%. And the preseason had the largest proportion of injuries in scrimmages, first, regular practices, second, and then walkthroughs, which was third. And the different parts injured um, is shown here uh, in, in competition, scrimmage, regular practice, and walkthrough. Um, in competition scrimmage, the most common body parts injured were the knee, ankle, and shoulder. In regular practices and walkthroughs, the most common body parts injured were the knee, upper leg, and shoulder. Um, it's going to be majority lower leg issues or leg issues because that's what's mostly used in football. <laughs> and um, a lot of people, whenever they get tackled or or try to make a cut in the grass, it could be a, a hole in the ground or something, and it hits there. It, the foot hits the ground wrong, and then from there it goes to to rupture or hurt any joint, muscle or something. Or it can just be, you can be pulled down the wrong way and, and it's just really, really, the legs are really vulnerable as well with uh, less padding as compared to upper body where there's shoulder pads and the helmet, different type of pads up there. <clears throat> the results of the study, um, the NCAA ISS captured 18,000 75 football injuries. Um,